Drew Barrymore is an American actress, director, producer, and business entrepreneur with an estimated net worth of around $125 million. Drew has been in the spotlight for the majority of her life, going all the way back to her memorable performance in Steven Spielberg's E.T., which she landed when she was only six years old. In 1982, I did E.T. Even looking back, it was just a perfect dream and I never wanted it to end. Drew has also made headlines over the past few years for various real estate deals. She sold the Montecito home where she married her now ex-husband Will Copelman in 2013 for $6.35 million. Two years ago she also sold her Hollywood Hills home collecting an astounding $16.5 million in the process. After the sale of her Hollywood Hills mansion, Drew moved into everyone's dream home, a beach house in the Hamptons which she picked up for around $5 million in late 2019. Since Drew Barrymore's early days as a child star in E.T., she's carried on her acting career into adulthood and continues to work on TV and film projects to this very day, recently on the Netflix series Santa Clarita Diet. Guess what Kelly told me last night? She and Ben are selling their home. It's a beautiful property. Great location, new kitchen. I think they'll give us the listing. That'd be great, honey. We can't be realtors if we don't have listings. Drew has also expanded her career to encompass a variety of other fields, including a cosmetics line, clothing brand, and even her own signature home decor under her brand named Flower. Oh, and Drew is a newly minted talk show host with her Drew Barrymore show, carried on daytime TV by CBS. However, like the rest of us right now, Drew is currently spending the majority of her time at home, along with her two daughters, Olive and Frankie, watching Disney movies and playing board games. When she's not hosting her new show, that is. That picture gives you a little taste of Drew's home life, but if you stick with me through the course of this video, I'm gonna give you a whole lot more. Hey guys, it's Kara, here for you with a brand new house tour, this one taking you inside a handful of homes that a-list actress Drew Barrymore has lived in over the years. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell for notifications. We've also done house tours on the likes of Zoe Saldana and Arnold Schwarzenegger and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Let's kick things off with a look at one of Drew's older places of residence. Back in 2013, Drew sold this 6,258 square foot property for $6.35 million. Lush green grass and floral gardens create a beautiful landscape around the outside of the home. In fact, the setting back here is so picturesque that this is a spot where Drew married Will Copelman back in 2012. Out back, the property also features a 382 square foot guest house which houses one bedroom and one bath. The home itself was built in 1937 and features five bedrooms with a full five bathrooms and two half bathrooms as well. A large sun-drenched foyer featuring elegant light fixtures, rich wood stairs, and French doors welcomes guests upon immediately entering the home. The living room is extremely formal and still features the original 1937 wall paneling along with built-in bookcases and a classic and elegant fireplace. The nearby den is also cozy, featuring more bookcases and another fireplace, along with French doors that open out into the garden. Back in 2013, Drew sat down with Oprah in this very room to discuss her wedding. I wanted Olive to look in the backyard one day, if we're lucky enough to keep this house, and be like, we got married right there, and you were there in my mm. stomach. <laughs> uh. Unfortunately, that isn't gonna be the case, but I'm sure Olive still has a ton of fond memories about this home. Like how timeless the kitchen was, outfitted in gray cabinets, mahogany counters, and oversized marble island and black and white stone floors. There's a breakfast nook just off to the side of the kitchen, and for more formal gatherings, there's also a dining room that features floor to ceiling windows and tasteful wallpaper. Finally, the master bedroom has everything you'd expect it to have including an ensuite bathroom and even its very own dressing room. Next, let's take a look at the home that Drew owned at the same time as the Montecito Place, this mansion in Hollywood Hills. Set at the end of a long driveway, this gated compound centers on a sprawling mid-century ranch house that dates back all the way to 1957. This acre plus property includes its very own guest house, a guard house, and a motor court. Out back is a swimming pool, terrace gardens, and views that encompass everything from the city to the ocean. Details and pictures for the interior the interior of this home are scarce, but tax records show that the two-story home has about 8,000 square feet of living space and an astounding 18 rooms. Four of those rooms are bedrooms.
bedroom, so I think it's safe to assume that the home features just as many bathrooms, if not one or two more. According to the Times archives, the home also features a two-story living room, and around the entire estate are five different fireplaces. Drew originally bought this home back in 2002 after her formerly Beverly Hills area home was damaged in a fire. At the time, she spent around $4.35 million on it, but when she sold this home back in 2018, she garnered herself a whopping $16.5 million. Talk about appreciation. After selling her home in the Hollywood Hills, Drew moved herself and her two daughters into this remarkable 5,600 square foot home in the Hamptons. The home is located in the tiny village of Sagapana, which is the most most expensive zip code on America's East Coast, according to a report in 2019 from Property Shark. The town only has 322 permanent residents. This beach house was built in 1920 and is set on 1.7 acres, situated less than a mile from the sandy beaches nearby. According to the New York Post, this home features six bedrooms, six baths, and while Drew's representation told the Post that she was simply renting this home, the Post seems pretty confident that Drew purchased the place outright because their sources informed that the house was never available for rent. The property has been on and off the market over the past few years since late 2016 when it was originally listed for $7.5 million. The price has steadily decreased over time and Drew reportedly paid close to $5.5 million in closing the deal. Pictures and clips from the inside of the home are hard to come by, but a few clips like this one that Drew posted on social media show how much fun she's still managing to have even when under lockdown. The home features high ceilings, exposed beams, and plenty of windows throughout. The kitchen is equipped with a stainless steel appliances, wooden cabinetry, and a breakfast bar seating. A nearby family room features a cathedral style ceiling, and there's also a formal living room with a brick fireplace, as well as a library and an accompanying study. Meanwhile, outside there's a heated gunite pool and pool house, along with a deck for lounging and a spot for alfresco dining. There are also privacy hedges to keep all the creepos away. Because she's an amazing mother, Drew has set up a massive playhouse for her daughters out back. Not your average wooden playhouse either. This castle inspired structure has two separate sections with swings hanging in between them with accompanying ladders, climbing walls, and several slides at different heights. The focal point is definitely an enclosed blue spiral slide that stretches all the way from the tallest turret to the lush green lawn below. The craziest thing about that playhouse, Drew reportedly dropped over $30,000 on it. Olive and Frankie are two lucky girls. All right, guys, I think that'll bring us to the end of Drew Barrymore's house tour. What did you think? Are you guys surprised she moved on from her Montecito home? Or do you consider moving into a beach house in the Hamptons an upgrade? Yeah, me too. Well, sorry I missed that uh, charity thing, but this was one of those truly glorious Hampton weekends that you always hear about. Really? Yeah, I may move out there. <laughs> I'm in it, I'll do it. <laughs> Go ahead and rate Drew's three homes we looked at down in the comments because I would love to know. That Hamptons place is a solid 10 though, I gotta say. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and leave some ideas in the comments below for what you'd like to see next. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!